Aloha guys, so what we doing here is a one inch oblique and optometric challenge cube. So yes, you hear correctly. The whole entire thing is gonna be one inch uh, cube, optometric and oblique style. All right, like we always get into this thing, we have our title block. Yes, title block is created already. Uh, put in the videos how to make a title block. Your scale is gonna be one inch because the whole entire scale uh, the cube is gonna be one inch. So we're gonna keep it real simple. And we're gonna turn around and uh, find your center. So basically you can do this, measuring between here and here. Or what you could do as well is fold this in half. Just like so, make sure you get an even fold on our ends. I would recommend doing your title block first before you actually fold this paper. Draw your line down because we're splitting this in half. So one side will be our oblique, one side will be our absymmetric. At this point, it doesn't matter. We can do our uh, absymmetric first and then the oblique second. So in this case, you want to just put in um, right over your absymmetric. Let's put it up top, isometric. And then over here you put your oblique. All right, so isometric and oblique on both sides. So you know you split this up, you can draw this line through. All right, absymmetric and oblique. Any one you go with makes a difference to me. Uh, this case, I'm gonna do the absymmetric first. All right, we'll zoom up. So, as I'm given to you all the time, I always tell you guys to literally find a starting point. I'm actually going to go, I'm going to put this drawing right in the center. So, I'm going to come find halfway this, make my drawing right in the center here, just put both drawings in, in, in between. So, we know inside of our drawing, We have seven and a half. So we'll have a seven is six. I mean, sorry, three, three and a half. So this, and you gotta add another quarter to it. So let's just do this. Do this simple now. So we got seven and a half is an actual number. Half is seven. Just split these numbers in half. So half is seven is three and a half. So that's three and three quarters. It's been on each side. So when you're trying to like subtract numbers, right? You have a hard time understanding it. Just take half of each one of them. So you know, half and seven is three and a half. You know, half a half an inch. It's a quarter of an inch. So you just add the two, then you add the two together. So it's three and three quarters. All right. So that'll be your 180 right there. Because we both, we all know we're starting off an optometric oblique angles, right? So you on an optometric, you can either do a 45 degree angle or 30 degree angle and then an optometric one you can do 30 degree angles both ways we're doing that on this one so draw this line lightly across and that's our center grid there three 
like three corners, checking that bad boy. All right. Now in this case, again, you want to find center because we're just going to draw this thing in one inch. So I'll come over the same number, and this box gives you overall it's 10, so that's 5, and then 2.5. 2.5 is center here, and then 2.5, 1, 2.5 here. So you know how we do it. Every time you do the top, you gotta do the bottom, you gotta do the top. So these are our benchmarks we're using to keep us a control line going across. So one, two and a half. Oh, this is our control marks. And I'm only doing this so I can get, get this side by side so you guys have a good idea of what it looks like in identical spaces. One, two, and a half. All right, that's our benchmark there. All right, so since we start on our isometric one, we need to know how are we gonna go off this thing. We need to go 30 degrees, 30 degrees off this. So our magic number again, that's tick marks, right? So you go two and a half this way, inch and a half up. So that's five tick marks. One, one, two, three, four, five. This basically gives us back to the origin again. Or you know what? We can cheat a little bit and go this way. We know this is our this error. We are established an inch and a half, two and a half this way. And this would be one of our uh this would be well, let's see this. Yep, yeah, we can do a 30 degree angle both ways off this by starting here. So we know this is two and a half, we know this is two and a half. We're never gonna go inch and a half up. We're also gonna go inch and a half up, and then we can get started at 30 degrees off that, and then put our cube right in there. So come up inch and a half. That's three tick marks, one, two, and three. Same thing here. One, two, and three. All right. Cross there to the origin. Light line going through, so we're gonna erase all this. Same thing here. And again, guys, we're using all recycled paper, man. This is all recycled paper you would get in the mail. So you don't have to worry about going out there and buy mail paper. And it's already provided for you. All right. 30 degree angle. Let me zoom in real quick so you guys see this a little better. And just check yourself. Use a protractor for that. 30, 30. All right. Now we know already that we're using one inch from our scale. So we'll just do that. We bring our benchmarks. <clears throat> this has to be one inch this way, one inch this way. So we're gonna come up one inch to establish. Oh, we gotta draw a line through here as well. Our center grid. All right, so now we cut them up one inch here. We gotta come up one inch here because that cube is all the way around one inch. Yeah, one inch up here. So just come up one inch. And this is a good way to get into jogging memory on how to figure out top view, right view, side view, or you want them one inch. If you can draw the one-inch cube, we can. You can do every drawing we possibly have done already. Also, just look back at all the other drawings. All of it starts with that common sipping concept. Is once you get this isometric oblique angles down, everything else should shoot off that. You establish that angle first, 
everything comes off there. Don't have to worry about it. Forever more, it'd be right on point. So you want to measure out one inch. Measure off one inch. Same thing here, one inch. Same thing there, one inch. And you can do always connect those lines right through. Come up the one inch, connect this line through to connect these lines through. All right, guys, we'll come up one inch. And just connect the back lines, the back lines, and that'll be a complete the one inch. like button subscribe and you'll get more videos like these amigo drawings just using a ruler don't need a protractor or anything else but your ruler several concepts and you'll be able to do this anywhere so if you're able to do this See how to do the absolute magic one inch challenge.